don't even I don't see how that's fair for God to judge those yeah. people and then send them to hell since they've never heard about Jesus. He ended up swiping two monkeys from a zoo, going in there when it was closed, like clipping out the gate and then taking the monkeys out of there. And he brought them to his home where neighbors have already been complaining about like loud parrot. I was with Elon Musk. I thought his inventions were great. I thought he cared about the world. And it turns out he just wants to side with Putin. Thousands of people lined up waiting for a priest to grab a coconut and What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Voropod. What's up? Hello today. Guess what? What's up? I'm already looking I, I nicer, looking cleaner. You Can think you see so? a difference? Can you see a difference in me? Oh, I no, I see a difference. Just tell me. Tell I me still, what it is. It's a It's a it's it's a new sweater, huh? Nah, bro, come on. It's the new mustache. <laughs> Anyone out there with a mustache, you know what's up. I I was skeptical about getting this. And yeah, I didn't really want to do it, but this is the best decision I've made in my life. I've never felt more confident. Honestly, hide your women. <laughs> I've had so many girls approach me at this point. Three days with it. Life's never been better. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I think it looks stupid. Uh, but how 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 um, is uh how is it standing in front of uh, elementary schools? How's the view from there? <laughs> Bro, my sister said, like, bro, you look like a pedophile right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's just the vibe mustaches give me. I hate mustaches. Like, it just sucks. I mean, it kind of makes you look like a firefighter or a cop or something like that. If it's, it def- like, really bushy and thick, like, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you, like, bushy. Oh, really? Like, you, have, you've seen those. Have you, huh? you, wait, you said you like the bushy or thick ones or you like the thin ones? No, no, like, like if it's like bushy and like a, so if someone has a nice mustache, that's different. But but if okay, it's like okay. if it's like like growing in, you know, like you're kind of new, it's like it's kind of uh, uh, yeah. like mine, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah, looks like a pedo stash. To the mustache. Yeah. Anyway, I tried it for like two days. I was oh, like, you did oh, it too. It was a while ago. So. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I think the and, goatee looks better for us right now. Or clean shaped. Like there's not much. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's get into the Bible verse of the day. Of course. Of course. All right. We got Romans chapter 10, verse 13 through 15. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they have never heard about him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? How do you understand that? It's basically saying it's your job to get out there and uh, spread the word. Otherwise, other people won't get the chance. Of course. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what it's saying. Because to be saved, you obviously need to believe in Jesus. That's the reason he came down to earth is to die for our sins. And God knows that humans cannot be perfect. So he sent his son to like make sure to clear our sins so we can go to heaven but what's crazy is there's billions of people that have never heard of the word of god and like don't know anything about jesus like think about that yeah there's like a large percentage of the population of the world have never even heard about jesus or christianity of like the religion i think about all the different ethnic cultures from africa from asia like from all those different geographical locations like they don't even have anything close to christianity they have their own religions you know did you look it up the statistic yeah i did like i I remember remember hearing about a church that has a huge population what is it it's over a billion over a billion but is is that like right now or over all time probably right now how though what do you mean? There's so many different religions and like some some languages don't even like have anyone that is Christian in them, you know? And no one can spread the word to them since they don't speak. But okay, but that's not a big percentage, you know. Most of the percent like okay, let's say That's a huge. It's like ten percent. No, of that ten percent of the heard? world that doesn't that doesn't speak no, I'm not saying about that. I'm saying uh, 
like the percentage that, that a language that nobody speaks and like you know getting yeah. out to them that's i i want to see that's a big percentage i think that's like more of the like outskirts that's like small mm-hmm. percentages it's like i'd probably say a big one is probably going to be in india um china and is probably going to be the thing india. is yeah no, they'll, they still india. a lot of them have heard about christianity but hinduism like is massive over there so they're not even going to bat an eye to christianity it's like it, it's yeah it's like more bigger there so they don't want, it's like it's like if somebody it's like you're you're christian you were living completely christian you have never heard of anything it's not that you never heard but it's like it's like it was just like christian 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 and i don't know where someone brings in like um i don't know a different what, what, thing what is yeah what is the one the guy the big buddhist? statue guy buddhist yeah somebody told you buddhist like you're gonna be like what? buddhism what what is that yeah that's true but still there's like you, you said the statistic one billion people have never heard about christianity over some over. over like yeah can you really judge those people you know what i mean yeah um yeah it actually says right here so i'm reading this and it says um estimates say that over a billion people in the world today have little to no law no knowledge of jesus little to no knowledge of the gospel and little to no chance of hearing the gospel of jesus christ before they die it begs the question then what happens to they what happens to them when they die right like i don't even i don't see how that's fair for god to judge those people and then send them to hell since they've never heard about jesus and like they like no one ever told them so how are they even supposed to be aware to live their lives like that or even to believe you know okay i think at that point god um judges them based on their actions and their state of mind i think because that would I, be, I could be wrong but i could be wrong but if somebody is a bad person you know you'd expect them not to go to have any other way if they're mm-hmm. just a bad person but if they're a good person they like have a love in their heart you know they they care about people you know they they try their best but they never heard about god i feel like that's when that's when the that's when it comes in and it's yeah more about your actions and about your heart of course we'll never know what we happens know, yeah. yeah we won't know until it does like judgment day does happen but it's just crazy to think about that because there's billions of people that also have different religions follow different gods but that's the only thing they've ever known and of course the bible says god is a jealous god and when other people or when people worship other gods he gets upset and punishes them we've seen that like with israel like their whole entire um kingdom and stuff but just because of the cow yeah golden cow ball that was yeah like thinking back is like how could you do that that's that just sounds so like it's like what they built a cow a cow (laughs) did like like what was going through their head but it felt like being rebellious i guess but yeah they just don't want to do the right thing they just don't want to do the right thing they want to do the (laughs) wrong thing (laughs) so yeah they'll still like all those people that haven't heard about him follow different gods how like they're all going to be sent to hell by according to the scripture that's that's wild because i don't know i feel like god opened up to those people i don't like you can't even say that that he opened up to those people but they were born into that type of society and into that um culture so how can you even judge them do you think that many of these religions like what is it muslims and hinduism they all kind of have the similar type of structure where they follow one leader and stuff do you think that god will judge those people by their religion or like how is that going to work out or all those people just going to go to hell the way i understand it is that being christian will get you into like muslim heaven they hold up yeah. what yeah muslims uh they 
it's all about actions. It's all about your uh-huh. actions. Right. And so if you're Christian, you will go to to Muslim. Oh, religion. you're saying from the Muslim religion, they believe that from, Christians. From their standpoint. Okay. Well, sort of. They, they believe we're wrong because we, like, like it's We have different, slight different things, yeah. Slight different things. And, and I'm pretty sure it talks in the Bible of how, how uh, Muslims and how Islam started. Right? Mm-hmm. I think it, it there was a family it, it, that like there's two brothers yeah. and one yeah. of them split off to be the Muslims and one split off to be yeah. like Judaism or Christianity, whatever. Yeah. So it has that there. And, and so I don't know about other religions, about how it works like that. But for Christian, for Christianity, I think it's, it's more of like the relationship with God that matters. Mm-hmm. So, if you don't have a relationship with God personally, I'm not saying you're going to hell, but you know, that's the whole point of Christianity. I think. Right. Right. Obviously you want to, you need to do good and be a good person. It's a tough question. It is a very tough question. This, it's, the, yeah. People have been debating this for thousands of years. So. And we'll never know. Yeah. Man. Well, <laughs> It's a depressing topic a bit. <laughs> Let's move on to something bit. more exciting. Something more you exciting. hear about What's the... more exciting? More exciting. No, I'm about to tell you. <laughs> there was a man in Texas <laughs> that got in trouble for st- stealing monkeys from a zoo. <laughs> I'm going to pull up this article real quick. But... <laughs> What's nah, it is good. It's good. He said that this a 24-year-old man... Now linked to an unusual string of crimes that kept the Dallas Zoo on the lookout for missing animals. So he ended up swiping two monkeys from a zoo, going in there when it was closed, like clipping out the gate and then taking the monkeys out of there. And he brought them to his home where neighbors have already been complaining about like loud parrots, chickens or whatever. They said in this article he had other animals and he just kept them in there for a couple of weeks. The... Zoo didn't know where they were at, but when police eventually found out that he was the one that took the monkeys, he ended up telling them that if you guys let me out, I'm going to keep on doing this. I'm going to be taking the monkeys all the time or all the animals. He said that he really loves animals and he wants to save them all. How do you feel about that? How do I feel? Um, I think he's a good guy. Situation. You know? He's just trying he to loves, save them. You know? He loves animals. Yeah. Can you blame he's him? He's trying to save them. But the thing is, you know what he did? He took him from a zoo and uh-huh. he brought it to his house where they're not in the wild. He's not. How is he saving them? Okay. Either way, the zoo is a terrible place and I'm sure his house is even worse because he doesn't know how to <laughs> take care of them the proper way. And zoo keepers obviously know more, more things about monkeys so they can take care of them better. But yeah, yeah I don't... Do you believe that he... <laughs> he loves animals that much and he wanted to save them or what was his plan with them <laughs> he was <laughs> he just wanted some friends that was all okay some, he, 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 he wanted Pause. some company in his home <laughs> I'm he kidding. wanted he had those, what were you saying nothing keep going bro he wanted he wanted some company you know he's he's like it's like i'm lonely give me some friends he grabbed a couple of monkeys, you know, they're well, swinging around his house. and <laughs> I, I don't know. Honestly, I, I would love to have a monkey. That's like one of my yeah, dream pets sick. to have. I know they're probably really reckless and might cause damage in the yeah. house, but you got to you gotta train them young. Get them when they're a baby and stuff. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> teaching them how to talk. Well, communicate. Let's say communicate. Communicate, yeah. You obviously can't communicate. Keep teach them to talk. Yeah, I mean, communicate. I think that'd be birds. sick. Yeah. This is a small oh. monkey, not an ape, because apes are dangerous, yeah. according to Joe Rogan. <laughs> an but... ape, absolute, bro. Imagine an ape just built, built, built monster. You can't, you can't go to sleep with him in your house, <laughs> unless you lock him in a cage. Yeah, <laughs> and still, it'd be pretty dangerous. Uh, planning Stealing of the monkeys apes from the zoo. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think planning of the apes is gonna happen? Planning of the apes? No way. No. Like in millions? Nah, it won't happen. 
No. Because there's no way monkeys can take over humans. They're already... If evolution is real, then they're already like millions of years behind us, so there's no chance but the, for them no, to... But th- no, that's not what they're saying. The whole point of that, like, Planet of the Apes is that people were testing to give, like, them smarts, and uh, it sort of, like, uh, made monkeys smart. So... And the thing is aggression, right? They're a lot more aggressive than humans. Yeah. They don't have so, them. Yeah. I mean, I think their regenerative uh, functions are better than humans as well. Probably. Right? I'm sure yeah. they are. Because they, they, they eat plants, right? They're, they, mm, yeah, I think no, they eat plants. I'm, um, they're do, omnivores, I'm pretty sure. Apes are, they're omnivores. They rarely eat meat. Really? If not, if if at all. Oh dang! Maybe they yeah. Maybe they are vegetarians. Yeah, because because gorillas yeah they eat they eat, gorillas eat. Um, they only eat vegetables. Plants. But gorillas yeah. are a little bit different than apes. Like their DNA. But yeah, we're closer yeah. to apes than gorillas are to apes. Are you sure about that? Hundred percent sure. That's weird. Our DNA structure is way closer. That's pretty weird. Like here, I'll look it up. I'm pretty sure we're at. Then, then what? What's connected to gorilla then? Like closer what? to gorilla. It, does gorilla have any like class? Because you know lions, it's basically a cat. Right. right. Um, gorillas. I'm pretty sure they're close to like orangutans and other monkeys like that. But apes are different than monkeys. Really. Yeah. Okay, so right here it says humans and chimps share a surprising ninety eight point eight percent of their DNA. Ninety eight percent. Humans and apes. Yeah, and chimps. They're probably the same thing. Chimps and apes. Yeah, we're very close to each other. But let's go back to this guy. And, and well, I, imagine it wasn't evolution; it was devolution. Devolution. <laughs> yeah, humans got dumb; they turned into monkeys. Oh shoot! <laughs> I don't even think about that. That could definitely happen. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, no way that won't. Because over the course of history, we've gotten smarter and better but, with technology and stuff. But that's that's not everything. That's not the rule of law. You know. That's not. It's not always gonna happen like this, you know. Oh, for sure. Something. Well, yeah, exactly. Something changed. It's not like it's only gonna turn out one way. Things turn out the other way. But then, then it just not nature falls apart sometimes. Yeah. So you never know. But that's just funny. It's like ninety-eight percent. That's 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 a lot of percentage. Remember we were when we were talking about the two percent for the um, Neanderthals and Neanderthals, yeah, yeah, and I I thought that was a lot. I thought two percent was a lot. Mm-hmm. It's probably two percent Neanderthal and then the rest ape, <laughs> the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. So back to this guy. He also, while he was stealing the ape or the monkeys, he went to. Um, a clouded was it a leopard yeah so he went to a clouded leopard cage and broke it apart and these these cats are able to attack humans if you want like they're big enough to hurt a human yeah so when he he like cut it open started petting it and then he realized oh it's too big to go to my house so i'm not gonna take it home so eventually like he just let it run off and the zookeepers found it like near the the cage but like outside in the like main park or whatever <laughs> just let a leopard out into the into the loose how did he he was just petting it just he petted it in and then left with the monkeys how how do you how do you casually pet a leopard i don't know i guess they're on drugs over there at the zoo and they're less hostile so they're probably able to that's still definitely what sketchy he means. that's what he means by uh by saving them. <laughs> what do you mean? 
<laughs> That's what he was saving them from. Drugs. Oh, uh, the zoo? <laughs> yeah. the zoos are terrible places. It's yeah. honestly... Yeah, it's, it's... You're taking animals away from their natural habitat, their environment, what they're used to, and just caging them up and putting them on drugs to make them less aggressive. It's messed Why up. Why would they it's, make them less aggressive, though? I feel like keeping them well, aggressive would be kind of fun. Well, sometimes the zookeepers have to go into the cages to feed them or, like, to clean it up. So they have to make them sleepy and less aggressive and give them, give them like depressive type of drugs. I guess. But it's, it's such a terrible type of lifestyle and it's messed up. Just taking them away. Like, don't get me wrong. I love going to the zoo and seeing all yeah. these. I mean, when I was a kid, I haven't went for a while, but it's definitely cool seeing animals that I've never seen before. And that I would never have seen if I lived where I like live right now. Yeah. But it's not fair to the animals and I think it's it's kind of like messed up just putting them in that type of environment. Do you care about the animals? <laughs> or do you think I'm being kind of kind of not weird really. right now? I mean, I mean <laughs> last couple of episodes ago we were like, do we even really need animals? <laughs> <laughs> that was a couple of episodes ago. And now you care about animals so much. <laughs> right, let's move uh, on. Uh, <laughs> we're really exposing care. me for no real for no reason. <laughs> yeah, let's go on to the care about SpaceX, what they're doing. Yeah. I did. What did you hear? Well, I heard that uh Elon Musk is like um basically He, he hates Ukraine. Elon Musk hates Ukraine. That's all you gotta say. He, he's just a hater, you know. He's he's just a bad man. Bad a bad guy. man. I th- I was with Elon Musk. I thought his inventions were great. I thought he cared about the world. And it turns out he just wants to side with Putin. His invention, Starlink, he gave it to Ukraine to use, and now he's just taken away. <laughs> Anyways, what's really happening though? So he obviously provided Starlink to the Ukrainian military when. Um, Russia sent missiles and like blew up all of their like, electricity and communication lines, but he provided Starlink so the Ukrainian military is able to communicate with each other. However, it, they it started. It, it, I don't think. Oh, I don't put my camera. Okay, I don't think he made it for for oh, the military. He, no, he didn't. I, he, he didn't make Starlink for military at all. He made it just no, to. No, I, I, uh, I know, but I don't think. The reason for him giving to Ukraine was for the military. I think he was giving it for uh, the people. civilians. Yeah. Okay. So, but then so the when, military took it away from them and started using it for personal. It's not, personal it's not that gain. they took it away. It's not that they took it away. They just used they're just it. utilizing it. Yeah. They were just utilizing it as as a, like a weapon, sort of. Yeah. Well, so the like, the reason this article popped up was because. Starlink wasn't allowing the Ukrainian military to connect like drones to it and do drone strikes against Russia. And Elon Musk and some other people, part of SpaceX, said the reason they did this was that Starlink was never intended for violence or for the military use. They only wanted it for communications. The military could use it for communications, but it was intended for like the people. So they're still able to use electricity and yeah. Wi-Fi. Or, yeah. yeah. So, that being said, what do you think? You think that Elon Musk said. and Starlink are in the right? Um, it, these it are our people. Been easy, f- huh? These are our people. I, think, nice. I mean, it would have been easy for him to just let it be, because like, you know, he's just like, whatever, you know. But I, I think he's. I don't know what he's doing at the moment. He's. He's being not shady, but he's like he's moving in weird ways at the moment. Have you noticed it? Well, he, what do you mean? Like he Elon Musk has been moving like in weird ways at the moment. Like his actions are just like like a what, little what, like specifically weird. what? Well, this, about like buying Twitter and stuff like buying that. Buying Twitter, all the stuff he posts on Twitter. He's been exposing the sorry the previous owners of Twitter and parts of the government for collusion and all of this not only that he's 
The thing is, nobody's going after him. What are you talking about? Nobody's going after Elon Musk. Like, in what ways? There's no reason to go after him. There is. He's, he's exposing the government. Well, he has probably much more on them, and they can't do anything about it. Plus, it's the truth, and they, they have nothing they against him. They can always do something about it. What do you mean, like killing him? Yeah. Well, that's going to be very terrible for them because he's leading many industries, making life better for Americans True. and the rest of the world. So, True. Would be... and he has he has IT contracts with NASA. Yeah, he has contracts with the U.S. government and stuff. Yeah, they can't do much. He's got them in like a headlock in a way. Not really, though. Like, oh, yeah, maybe a pinky. He's lock. replaceable. He's replaceable. <laughs> Like he is a little replaceable, but how many more autistic smart people are out there in the world (laughs) on his caliber? His caliber, probably not too many. Actually, I don't know. I have no idea. I doubt he's a replaceable. He's one of a kind. No one's replaceable. Every single person's unique. You tell that to the coal miners. (laughs) <laughs> the ch- child cold miners in Africa right now <laughs> or wherever it's happening <laughs> you monster <laughs> <laughs> you don't think they're unique no, but that's, that's not what I'm saying it's just like, nah, what are you saying the way that they live the way that they live like it's definitely not the definition of of you know them being unique in a way i'm not trying to like say something bad about them i'm saying like the world is messed up yeah it's messed up that they're doing stuff like that it's messed up that that they're in that situation but like the the workers or like the the bosses they don't care about those kids like they like go in those coal mines or whatever i don't know where those coal mines are actually at are they in africa yeah there's diamond mines there's diamond it's not diamond they're mining for uh the, lithium lithium batteries yeah, exactly, exactly for iphones or whatever tesla's car and yeah it's a messed up situation yeah pretty much yeah it's slave labor that's what it is and exactly all these companies are preaching to be woke and leading the media industry but they're profiting off of people that are like honestly not even living like humans it's, it's messed yeah. up no, they yeah. can even do that. Well, honestly, I'm I'm I stand with Elon Musk for what he's doing. What yeah. like he didn't he wasn't obligated to even give them Starlink. He thought it was a nice thing to do to support Ukrainian citizens, and he's obviously not supporting the war and what's happening. Now, of course, Ukraine didn't want to be in the war either, but I think at this point, it's not fair to him that. He's not able to have a say in what, how they use it. Like he doesn't want the, have violence to happen. He wants to just to help them, like communicate and bring back what they were missing. But now they're just taking advantage of his invention and his company and like using it to yeah. shoot down other people, other innocent Russian teenagers. Yeah, I mean it is war, but it's it's not their satellites. It's, it's not his war. When- Huh? It's war. Yeah, it's, it's war, not, but not, not his, his war. war. It's not his war, and like Ukraine, like what U- Ukraine? I mean, they really need it. They really need the satellites because they don't have their own. But I mean, not much they really need a lot of stuff, and they're getting it all. <laughs> they're getting everything, actually. They might get German Tesla tanks. Too. They're they're about to get Tesla from the U.S. government, <laughs> like Elon sick. Musk. Elon Musk is not doing the right thing. So we gave Tesla to Ukraine. <laughs> Biden, give, give him some more stuff, please. Biden. I mean, he'll do in the heartbeat. He's sending everything over there. I know, bro. It's crazy. Heimar, Spent so much money the on them. I know. But the thing is, it's like they're test. I feel like the U.S., it's good for the U.S., because mm-hmm. they're testing all of their own equipment, how good it is. They're testing. No, everything. financially, it'll end up bringing back wealth to America. Oh, I remember sure. seeing. Yeah, they they do that a lot. They pour into other stuff and eventually screws oh. over those countries and their, um, 
yeah. shoot, I can't think. But, but yeah. yeah, it's it screws over those countries. Those countries are screwed for a while. But America comes in, pours a bunch of money in, whew, pours a bunch of money in, and now it owns the country. So that, and they can do trades with them at better yeah. prices. Yeah, and since that, their economy is going to be going back up, who do you think is going to go into those comp go into the country and build everything back? contractors like massive contractors with yeah. a bunch of money that i'm gonna try to get into there workers <laughs> i want to do that for sure i want to that's if you get send all those uh those african government. coal miners over there <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll give you better pay uh we'll care about you but anyways yeah like if you it's just a little bit more this, just a little bit if you are able to get um uh, those contracts you know um it's insane money. It's insane money. And, yep. uh, yeah. Sure. That's why. Talk about I, the UFOs. Sure, but I'm just saying one thing. Oh, yeah, keep going. One Sorry. thing. Um, most of Africa is owned, like, is owned out by massive co- countries. So most, like, a big chunk of Africa is owned by China. A big UK. chunk is owned by America, UK. France. But yeah, um, it, because they just pour a bunch of money in and those countries can't pay it back. And then it's owned by, you know, China and whatever. And so plus they conquer all them of but previous that, centuries. I, that, that doesn't that doesn't do that anymore. But mostly nowadays, what they do is China uh, gives really bad like um, deals, deals for like loaning money. Yeah. And so when they can't pay back, basically China owns them. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's like it's like colonization but modern day colonization way, yeah that's what's probably gonna happen to ukraine to be the next afghanistan or it's yeah. al- it already is yeah that's true <laughs> so. aye, aye, aye. our people our people all right get into the ufo story tell me UFOs. what you got what do, we, what do we got? So basically, um, was it a couple of days ago? I think. Let me pull up the link. Yeah, I, th- I just re- I saw yesterday night. Yeah. This news article. Yeah. So basically, uh, a UFO was shot down in Alaska. Uh, What's kind of weird though is that this article that I was reading it said that the two F twenty two or. There's two F-22 fighter jets flying next to this UFO, and they said that there was nothing, no person, no like living organism inside of the, um, into inside of the spacecraft, and it wasn't maneuvering in any type of way. It was just going straight, and just like flying along with them, and like there was nothing, no one inside. It was just like mobbing like that, you know. How do they know there was nobody inside it? The F-22 fighter jets said that they didn't see anybody. Okay, but was it like a cockpit or something? Like Yeah, that's what do you mean. It was a small, like it said it was the size of a car. It was small. Uh, so it only required, like there would only be like one person in there. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, uh. <laughs> could have been some type of like. It is. It could have been some type of drone, <laughs> so, Chinese drone, who knows. Somebody created an airplane and was trying to try it out and got <laughs> shut down. <laughs> I was talking to my brother about it, and he said that, yeah, some, like, Alaskan man spent his whole entire life trying to make a drone or an aircraft, sent it up there and, like, trying to see if the world's flat or not, and then they just shot it down. <laughs> this poor guy lost his whole entire, his whole entire life. <laughs> Yeah, and he project. can't say anything now because he's gonna get screwed over. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna get sued and everything. Ay, ay, ay. But yeah, they shot it down, and Canadians said that they're gonna take it in to research. Canadians? Do you think? Yeah, well, because it fell on Canadian ground. It fell on Canadian ground. Okay, I thought so. It says uh, over Alaska, so I thought it was in over Alaska. Is so pretty much the Canadian leader like when i had trouble with uh or like noticed this um the object and he had ended up like communicating with biden and biden sent the orders to shoot down this ufo canada 
can't uh, make and Canada took for it for themselves. Yeah. Well, either way, like U.S. and Canada are tight partners, and they're going to investigate it together if they really want to. But I mean, they're not. Imagine, the thing is, imagine Canada finds something really like useful. They're definitely not selling the United States. You think they're selling the United States? I think they will. Why would they do? There's that? no reason what to because they're partners. Do Doesn't mean anything. It's like it's like advancement, right? If if you have a key to unlock the next world, dude. Trust me, company, they have. They're they're incorporated together, like they're secret services, or whatever. They're gonna discuss together, like what happened. Like F twenty two fighter just shot it down. American jets, and American military. They're gonna both know about it. The thing that's messed up. I say up, take over Canada. Bro, get out of here. <laughs> take over Canada. <laughs> uh, they're not. What are you even saying? Their government isn't even really useful. Let's just take them over. They're turning communist either way. <laughs> exactly, but we, they need some freedom. They. I heard they got oil. I heard they got oil. So do we. <laughs> I heard, I heard, yeah, but we already own us. I heard they got oil, you know, whispering to the. Uh, they got a good amount Biden. of oil. They got oil. They got oil. Have you have you seen those? Have you seen those like in the foot of the have, have, have you seen Have you seen those memes? Or it's like, it's like um, I think because um, you know what happened in Afghanistan and uh, Iran and Iraq. Basically, it was like. United States found they found some oil, so they're like, I think they need some freedom. <laughs> the United States, like, we don't like their government structure. Let's take it down. But but you know they're there for the the oil, so yeah. This spiraled out of control. What are you even talking about? They're not going to take over Canada. That's the oh most ridiculous God. thing I've ever heard. Bro, I was just thinking. Okay, have you haven't you ever had this thought like? What is Canada useful for? A lot. They're like the number one trading partner of America. No, they're they, the only the only export like maple syrup and oil. They also mm. have a gay oil. <laughs> you get Shoot, bro. I mean. If they're not useful, then what's the point of America even taking them? You know, it's our continent. I don't know. <laughs> petroleum. Okay, they, they transport petroleum. There's no way they transfer cars. Who sold? What, I've never heard of a Canadian car company. All right, gold, motor vehicle parts, sawn, sawn wood. All right, so wood. Important then. Almost eight billion dollars of wood. Do you think that the Canadian or the American government are going to tell the people about this UFO if they end up finding anything? Of course not. My question is, why did they even bring it up? Why? Like, why is that on the front page news that the UFO got shut down? I I think it was just too big, like too much stuff. Like they couldn't, they couldn't hide it. They they couldn't, they couldn't hold. You know, they couldn't shut people up. Cause they were asking one of the American. What where does it say here? So North American Airspace Authority. So like, US military. So Ryder acknowledged that the U.S. military commander. So one of the uh, U.S. military commanders was asked a question about the UFO and what he can tell us. And he said that mm -hmm. I can't tell you guys anything right now. Like there's not enough evidence to say anything, but the F-22 fighter jet shot down this UFO. It landed in Canada and we're going to be collecting and researching it. And further mm -hmm. evidence will be like shared or something like that. Do you think they'll end up just trying to like hide it? Like time will go by and people will just forget. Well, I think that's what's going to happen. It, it depends what it is. If it's just like somebody like someone's trying to build a plane, drone, okay. yeah. If somebody's drone, I think like they'll say it. But if it's like if it's an alien, they'll just be like, "It's it was just a drone." They'll just lie. They could. Like, what? I don't know. It's obviously America and all the top countries know if they are UFOs, if they truly are. By this point, they've already like shot down a couple of them. 
I, I don't understand why they can't tell us. Like, I'm I'm curious. Sure, it might cause a little bit of ruckus, but I just want to know, you know, if there's aliens or not. Yeah, the, like, like why? Why is it a secret? Like, like what kind of ruckus is it gonna create in reality? Like, well, yeah, that's true. Like, some people might start doing riots, like, oh, it's the end of the world. But or what though? Like, I don't know. I've just heard that that's the reason that they don't want to share to the U.S. public. I well, I I think that it's um, I think that they're just uh, little babies. You know, they're just like. <laughs> Like, they just want to feel cool. They want to feel special that they know, you know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm one of five hundred people that knows that there's aliens, you know. And like, like let the people, you know, know the truth. Let the people know. Let the people know. Look, I wanna, dude. I'd love to meet aliens. Come on, I'd love to meet some aliens. I'd love to go to space. Imagine the technological advance. Luckily for you, you don't need to go to space. We got thousands of aliens in the u.s already <laughs> cut that cut that <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> millions millions probably <clears throat> illegal aliens that's what i was yeah. saying but hey i if didn't you don't get i didn't make joke, that title right. yeah i didn't you don't make that joke. title onto them or maybe i was just restating it back on track what were we talking about aliens aliens <laughs> of course <laughs> oh, of course all right so i have this heat map of where all the aliens were ufos Pull it up. Were, sorry ufo sightings were and guess where it's focused like like what what do you where do you think it's focused at like, like the, do you think it's focused in like like places that wouldn't expect it or like places that like have high capacity people or like what's your thoughts where do you think they're at well we hear a lot of stories of usfo sightings in the middle of nowhere and i feel like that's more ideal for aliens to go like to people like where there's nobody else and there's just like individual people so they can interact with them or abduct them or whatever so i'm i'm gonna say that so rural areas, you think? Yeah, rural. All right. You're going to get pretty surprised <laughs> when you see this map. Watch. I already know where it's at, bro. Oh, America's covered. That's what I'm saying. What the like, heck? It's Great Britain, America, only parts parts of Australia that are really populated. Um, What, what is that? What is that place? What is that? France. Germany. Right. right there the where it's like dense right next to uk that's france yeah 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 that's is that yeah is that the netherlands or... netherlands is right above france yeah it's like it's yeah china is almost empty though look at that do you think that russia russia is completely empty russia and yeah. china do you think they just I mean, don't lives report in russia Nah, There's even Moscow. In Russia. Look at Moscow. Yeah, Moscow is empty. I think that oh, Russia and China bit. just don't report any of their findings. And Africa doesn't have as much technology to, I guess, locate them by military means. Okay, I'm but sure why so the U.S.? Why is it so absolutely Because in packed. movies, aliens always target the U.S. So that's why, huh? That's exactly why. They watch movies too, that's, and they know where to go. <laughs> of course. I don't know. Do you think people are just a little bit dumber in America, and they just Dumb? report right away? Yeah, they're like, "Oh, it's a UFO," or and they just report it I right away. Think that. Um, I think that the U.S. has a lot more testing material. Let's say they have a more resources. More research not only resources they have like weird planes they they make like weird stuff and they have test areas and uh, people are like a little more like think that they're smart you know people are like look at this ufo i want some attention i'm gonna say i saw a ufo um stuff like that yeah 
Plus, it's like as an alien, I'm sure they're more attracted to the U.S. because it has higher um, it's US, advancement in technologies and stuff. Sorry, guys, they're they're here for me. For you, yeah. you're yeah, talking to them. For me. You're the one that reported all those oh, things. Of course, every <laughs> single last one of them. That was all Wait, me. so is it saying that the reports are from just governments and military, or from everyone? No, like from all humans. It's it's reports and they like like okay, so just everyone UFO sightings, eighty thousand reports of strange objects in the sky since nineteen forty seven. Have you ever to the national? Have you had any sightings or anything strange they've seen in the sky? I can't remember. There was one time that I was driving home from a party with my sister, and we're going down like a rural area. It's probably like fifteen miles away from our house. Yeah party and it was it was like a new year's party or something from a church but <laughs> we, were, we were driving home and right above us there's like a farm there's like some type of i don't know if it was a drone but like some type of spacecraft like flew right over the road and then i saw like like lights or something like flashing and then the event, like went right back over us and back into like the barn where the farm was at and it was late uh, at night or something. I don't know. It could have been a drone or some like random plane or like I saw something, but it was definitely weird. And my sister said the same exact thing that she saw it. She saw something? You guys saw something? Yeah, we saw like some type of craft like fly right above us and there's like lights flashing underneath it. Oh, it's probably like a farm plane, no? Uh, my best guess would be it was some type of drone. Some person was flying a drone, and it was nighttime, so I couldn't tell how big the object necessarily was. Hmm. But it was definitely something okay. weird, because like a farm plane couldn't have made that type of maneuver. It'd be a drone, if anything. <coughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, he was probably testing out a drone of himself. That was probably the guy over Alaska. Over Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> flying his drone. And they shot him down. Why would you do that? Just let, him, <laughs> let my man fly. Let him fly. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Do you really? What else can you say about aliens? You got anything else? What else can I say about aliens? Aliens? You know, all I you love had? watching shows with aliens. I just... I want them to be real. Do you? <laughs> I personally do. I think it'd be cool. Okay, so let's say they announce that aliens are real. Right. Uh huh. They announce it. What would you do? What's your first step? What do you do? You're like announce. Oh, uh, probably what call like someone and just talk about it. I don't know. Do There's g- nothing else to really do. You just talk. Exactly. Like it's really and that's why I don't understand why you can't share it. <laughs> exactly. It, it'd be trending like, on social would really media. Care? It would be pretty massive. You think about it. It's like uh, all of like the church. I feel like nothing would happen. Like you think so? I think people just talk about it and they think it'd be cool and that'd be like a huge topic for a while, but you you don't think that um like big churches and let's say they they announce that aliens were real with like churches um what are they what are the is Islam mosques like they mm, sure. be, like, in chaos there will like be massive chaos is there stuff like that why I, because like it kind of goes against what they say like mosque um sorry in the quran i don't think it mentions anything does it actually i don't know could be I wrong no anything about I've, I haven't read the quran <laughs> but <laughs> surprise to me and in the bible it doesn't say that they're not real it just doesn't, it doesn't bring anything up real, no so i mean but, it I wouldn't mean, go no, against anything mean. Not not necessarily like that. It doesn't. It wouldn't go against it, but like people would be going there to like, to like talk with the past, like what's going on, like. Oh like, yeah, I'm sure. What's it, the meaning of life? It would cause. <laughs> the of life? Chaos. It would rise concerns and like I guess certain rebellious behaviors and religions, but. I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to them if they want to believe that religion or not. Yeah. I don't know. But they would be, would be, like, it depends how weird. Imagine they announce it because the aliens are coming to kill us. 
that because would cause reality, chaos, obviously. That would cause chaos, yeah. But because in reality, would aliens really be nice? Like, what's the what's what's the reason to be nice? What's the reason to not be? What's psh, free planet, free water, free planet. Free water. What are they? You don't know that they run off of water. You don't know their biology. Not necessarily run off of water, but we don't know how rare it is. It might be very rare. Like well, like, what are they going to use it for? Water. What if it's oxygen, oxygen, car- car- hydrogen? Well, they might not need it. Like, they have no use for it if they've never seen it before. Like, if we saw some... How do you know that they haven't seen it before? Uh, bro, what okay, do you mean? The, the theory is, right, in reality, if, if a space-bearing um, aliens were to come here... It wouldn't be to just chat. Like, like, what would Why there not? be a reason to come here? It's because what, what? What is that for? What does it need for? They're just as curious as us. They might share some technology, get some stuff from us, build some type of alliance. But they're going to be more advanced. They're going to be more well, advanced exactly, or they might they might offer some good. type of some type of help or advice for us. But this is not logical because when when we went looking at the world when a when a civilization conquered or colonized a different civilization they treated them like garbage well certain places did it like when america came i mean when uh english settlers came to america they treated the natives nicely I said no, no, they did not. <laughs> not? <laughs> no, they did not. I don't know. Okay, yeah, sure. Humans are not very nice to other civilizations, or not. I mean, they're not very nice to other groups humans. of humans. But again, they have different biology than us, and they might, I don't know, act differently. Plus, yeah. they're not sending entire military conquests. To us, they have like individual stragglers that come through and just like observe. So that would could make sense. I yeah, and like there was a story that about like you know the one in San Diego where there was like hundreds of drones spotted on yeah, a, yeah. a U.S. ship. That could have been just um, a team of, I guess, Air Force pilots or whatever they have on their country and they just sent them down to observe what's happening in the u.s military or to observe us and how we act to check their weapons and yeah something like that how advanced we are but mm-hmm. yeah they could be just spying on us but what is what's their reason for it like okay when Curious. you look at okay w- w- watch on this we- website right it shows the different types of reported ufo shapes and just take a look at this Look how many there are. Look how many there are. Uh, Roswell, it was that one. Mm-hmm. And then Spain, U.S., 1951. It goes all the way up to sighting over Korea. 2009, it was a, it was a, it was a square. Look at the square and straight up bus. <laughs> Britain, 2007. Or some type of beam. All of these weird sightings. Like, do you huh. think that's all? It like this doesn't like relate. I don't see one civilization making all of these. Why not? We have a because bunch of different type so of. Far apart. No, we have a bunch of. But different they're still type pretty planes and similar. stuff. They're still fairly similar. What do you mean? They're f- they're still like same sort of similarity. They're on the same like, you know, the it's the same. Well, so you have the F twenty two versus. A B-2 bomber. They look nothing alike. They still have the same characteristics. They still have a like wings. They still have, they still have wings. Well, they that's because we're not capable of doing stuff without wings. All of these don't have wings. Okay. They have their own type of propulsion. We don't know what it is, though. I guess. But so many. Look, over the years, I mean, one year, okay. two years. Are you trying years. to say that there's like different species of aliens that make different types of spacecrafts? That would make more sense. I'm sure that's true. A bunch, a bunch of aliens 
right and they're just checking out just watching over checking how uh-huh. we're doing and until it's like or if we're ready well it's now more likely more sense. it's more likely that there is hundreds or thousands of different species of i guess civilizations because over just one if there's just one different civilization out there that made all of these that wouldn't make sense you know there's it's more likely yeah. that there's a bunch of different ones yeah, that but makes sense. and i'm sure that each civilization has their own i guess countries countries in there it's you know they probably have different types of technology like us and russia they have different types of technology but they were you see it was stolen parts of them was stolen the us stole i mean not us russia stole a bunch of uh technology and like plans from america china chinese china planes are basically lot. copies of us planes so yeah <laughs> Like, it, it, there's not many, like, different, really different sort of jets. Right. It's a Eurofighter. The Eurofighter's a little different. But it's just so expensive to create them that do you think these, there's, like, they just wouldn't be able to do that many, you know? Like, that's, well, that's a hundred different types. And that just would be crazy. That's, like, like cars, right? But it's like crazy more advanced. Like people don't just drive cars around. Like don't drive spaceships around. Like like on a daily basis. Yeah. Well, hopefully one day we find out. I really want to find out. Yeah. All right. You want to move on? Sure. All right. We're going to be trying out a new segment called Cultures of the World. And with this one right here, we got a... I wouldn't necessarily say it's a tribe, but a group of people in India that have an interesting type of religious practice. Have you heard about baptism in Christianity, obviously? Of course. Have you been baptized? I don't even know. You have been? Okay. Have you? Yeah, I have. So, obviously in Christianity, (laughs) nice. (laughs) Obviously in Christianity, the way (laughs) baptism works is a pastor takes you into the water, you make a covenant to God. And then they dunk you under and bring you up. And now, like, you've been baptized by um, baptized by water and like, you're a good new person. Yeah. 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 I, it's not Holy Spirit. It's, it's, well, it's different. Yeah. Baptism by Holy Spirit is different. But, yeah, that's how a baptism in Christianity works. However, the – in the <laughs> – I'm definitely going to pronounce this wrong, but the – Adi Peruku Festival in uh, India. They have a different way of baptizing their belief. Like, they have their own, like, religion and their gods and stuff. Yeah. But the way they do it is there's a bunch of people, thousands of people lined up waiting for a priest to grab a coconut and smack it right above the person's head and, like, smack it on top, crack it open. And once it cracks open, they have been baptized. And they're like a new person. <laughs> Doctors. How many infer- people had concussion from that? Every single person. Every single person that's gets smacked in the head have a concussion. That's why doctors in that area and like the researchers say to stop doing that and to find like a different practice. But obviously they're not gonna stop. Like that's been rooted in their um in their beliefs for generations now. But yeah, how long smack- do you know how long specifically? <laughs> I'm sure for hundreds of thousands of years, like this has been around for a while. So evolution is not real because they would have had a thick, massive skull from preventing. <laughs> from getting, from preventing I mean, not preventing uh, concussions. They're not dying. <laughs> so well, I guess I evolution that, did take place. There's well, people that I, die I, from coconut sure. landing on their head. Yeah. How are you that weak? Come on, bro. Okay, you're it walking around in the. If it's that high, the, I get. Yeah, yeah, okay. It. Imagine okay, like, okay. Doo. Yeah. That's, that'd be pretty bad. That's that's different from somebody going like. <laughs> but, dude, that is, dude, that's crazy. They they grab a coconut, smack it above their head, and every single person either gets a concussion or some type of like cuts on their head, sc- skull fractures, everything, oh, and they just do that. that sucks. 
and that you sucks. you would think that they would go get immediate health care right and like fix their heads up mm-hmm. but like some people do but many of them say that that's like weak and they take in that pain and say that their god will heal them and like that's part of the process <laughs> just like what i said weak <laughs> weak no okay but how has their skull not gotten thicker hey, wait is it a practice or does it happen once a life or does it happen every year no it's it's a baptism so it's well each well, baptism person. like you know like it's not christianity so how like is it once in your lifetime but yeah it's a, like once a okay. lifetime each person okay so there's a festival and like people that are ready to convert to their religion or like give their lives up to their god they go over there get baptized by a coconut and they're a different person okay would you do that <laughs> no if that's what no okay if that's what called for in christianity to get baptized and that was a part that of it doesn't make sense it doesn't make that sense it make sense what do you mean that's that's getting a concussion for like that just doesn't make sense i guess but to give okay you can think about it this way you have to sacrifice yourself and even our like christianity like you have to give up some stuff to that's different though follow like, god okay it's a different kind of sacrifice like you're saying like you're following god but it's like your mental state but when you're getting cracked with the coconut over your head do you think that's gonna bring that's gonna get like that's gonna baptize you like i don't know i just don't get it it's physical it. harm you can even say that and that's against yeah, the bible physical, it's the physical harm. harm but yeah it's i don't know <laughs> it's an interesting practice not the not the least for sure yep yeah tomorrow's the what is it called what is the football oh super bowl super bowl tomorrow is the super bowl tomorrow's the super bowl so you guys do you record by the way yeah i don't know there's some people are watching i I know my dad wants to watch it really yeah my dad likes football i didn't know that that's kind of crazy i never would think that he would like football yeah he likes football (laughs) He does not like soccer. Has he been, like, following the oh, whole yeah, entire following. season? Well, he hasn't been watching, but, like... I'm like, well, sure. yeah, you just, like, look at the stats. He and might. See what he doesn't talk to me about it. Okay. I don't like football. I, like, he... J- okay, so they were, like, guests over, and he's, like, watching football. And I'm just, like... I just go to my room, because... Cause, I don't know. I just don't want to... What watch team football. does he like? Ooh. Kansas City? No idea. No idea. No idea. Or did he like the, some team in Sacramento, like somewhere around there? Oh, not I Sacramento, don't but so. like I California. Don't so. I don't know. I'm not sure. But he was he was saying something. I think he might have been for the Chiefs. Yeah, because uh, you guys live right right next yeah. to them, two hours away. Yeah, but it's, it's not like like, like oh, because we live next to them, we gotta you know support them. Well, because they're here. the top team right now. He's a bandwagon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I know Aiden's a bandwagon. Aiden. He likes the Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. Oh yeah, he's. Big Who do you think is gonna win? The whole family. Let's predict Who's it. playing? Chiefs Who's and playing? Eagles. The Chiefs Super and Eagles Bowl. are playing. Let me let me let me do some research real quick. Philadelphia Eagles and Kansas City Chiefs. Haven't like the Chiefs like lost? Didn't they lose last Super Bowl? Yeah. So they've in the last four years they've been to the Super Bowl three times. And they lost one of them and won one of them. They won one? Yeah. Oh. So they lost I against. Was... Wait, do, do you know Joe Burrow? Wait, was it Burrow? Joe Burrow, the Bengals guy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Joe hmm. Shiesty? Yeah, I was I was kind of like like supporting him a little bit. Against... Who did oh, they yeah, play? they're the, the underdog. They were he was... the Kansas City, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they beat Kansas City last year and then lost against the Rams yeah. in the Super Bowl. But yeah, I I used to be so into football. I used to watch it all the time mm-hmm. in middle school, follow it. I used to follow NBA as well. But with high school and now college, I don't know. I just kind of lost interest. 
kind of like broke away and I just I realized that it's not important to my life at all and I don't have like I don't find a community in football you know some people like it because they can like talk to other people about it and you feel belonged with like a city and stuff sure like supporting it but I, don't, I just don't i don't have that relation to it at all anymore and i lost feel interest like, completely i don't know, i feel like if i would be supporting like really supporting a, like a sport it would definitely be soccer because yeah play it. i just don't want to support football like i support a little bit of soccer but it's not like massive mm-hmm. so, all right who's gonna win you obviously know nothing about football who are you going for yeah, I'm a bandwagon. Gonna go with Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City. But I honestly, is, I think I think Eagles will win. Philadelphia is gonna probably yeah. probably win because uh, yeah. Patrick Mahomes, he hurt his ankle around three weeks ago, playing oh, yeah. for like in the game, and he's gonna most likely not be healed completely by tomorrow. Plus, the Eagles have been kind of destroying. They had a really good season. They absolutely destroyed the 49ers in the, um, shoot, what is it called? The NFC Conference game. And they're most likely going to win. I have no idea, but. Um, Call the score. I'm gonna, what's the score oh, no. going to be? Score too tough. What, what's the what's like regular scores for football games? Like Super Bowl games? Like 25? It can something. be anything. Uh, 25, like 25, most likely not. No, it's going to be lower? No, I'm saying like that's a very odd number to land on 25. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, I guess it could be. Yeah. I'm guessing it's going to be 31 Eagles to 24 Chiefs. I think they're going to be a little more closer apart. I'm not gonna lie, closer. That's pretty close. Oh, it's a like- touchdown apart. What if it, can it be like 24 27? Yeah. Uh, 24 27. Who's winning? Eagles. Chiefs? Are you going Eagles, Eagles. too? Yeah. I, I think Eagles are going to win. I just don't see. Chiefs. You just want the Chiefs to win? Sure. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Whatever I'll, makes your dad I'll happy. Roof for, <laughs> exactly. Whatever. Whoever he's voting for, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we got we to gotta talk about football, but we obviously don't care about it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's a. It's, it's honestly what's more bad for you smacking the coconut on your head or playing football <laughs> i mean i actually wanted to play football in high school really yeah I was what position would you play receiver. bro wide receiver the punter <laughs> wide receiver how i guess yeah wide receivers eh? i'm pretty they have to be a little bit skinnier <laughs> yeah pretty quick and skinny very I, I was pretty good at uh, catching the ball and running very quick. Yeah. I was going to play in middle school, but obviously parents didn't let. And after that, I never play football again. In middle school, don't they play like uh, <laughs> the flag one? No, they play tackle. Oh, they play tackle. <laughs> All right. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. All right, anything else or are we done? No, I Got think any other stories? We're good? I think we're good. All right. Yeah. Are you going to wrap it up or should I? I got it. You got it? Let's see what you got <sighs> this time. What do I got? I can't even think of the moment. What do I have? All right. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, <laughs> why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing. I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> Of course, you know. Thanks for listening. You know, come back uh, next week. For another one you know like and subscribe there's buttons at the bottom you know make sure to press them you know you know it press those buttons at the bottom you know follow our channel <laughs> see you guys next time see you guys next Peace. week